Unlike a red flag, a yellow flag means proceed, but with extreme caution. Let's talk about spirituality. I have a project called Christian by Default, with the premise being that most of us as religious people are only religious based on how we were reared and socialized. So if you were born 50 miles to the north, you might be a different religion. If you were born 100 miles to the east, you might be a different religion. So I don't necessarily want to go into the religious distinctions. Some of the people are going to watch this are Christian, Muslim, the whole nine. It's irrelevant. What I will say is be wary of people who self-identify as empaths. Like I said before, these people tend to think that they were tasked by God to take on the world's ills and rehabilitate the world's children. It needs correction. You don't know that! I'm the only one who knows that. Whether that's the shitty men that they date, whether that's the shitty friends that they take on. And now as her man, you are left to deal with the consequences of that. Because again, she is going to, in some way, shape or form, going to be the sum of her friendships and her past relationships. So if she has an empathic disposition where she is not selective or discriminatory in who she allows in her circle and in her body, you're gonna be left to pick up the tab. Also, we're seeing a growing community. I call them the Erica Badu disciples, the sister mother goddess archetype, the black woman is God archetype that some of us as black men, woke brothers, quote unquote, perpetuate when the reality is that the black man is God, black woman is earth. Cause the seed doesn't come from earth, it comes from the divine and then earth incubates the seed. But the people with the system of the goddess archetype tend to harbor this deep idea that they are the gift. They should be worshipped. Men exist to glorify them, which sometimes manifests as irresponsibility that's never justified and never apologized for, or narcissism that's never justified and never apologized for. And same with the, you know, the chakra, incense, sage, crystal, astrology, women that we're seeing pop up. Even now on TikTok, there's a, a sector of TikTok called witch talk, where you're seeing this soft core witchcraft. Be wary of these types of women. They are not rooted in reality, nine times out of 10. Their feet are not planted firmly on the ground. Sometimes they believe that they originated from another planet. Sometimes they believe they can see people's auras and that despite their ability to articulate their decisions or their plans, they just believe things are gonna work out. Which really, when you investigate it, is just immaturity and incompetence, but it's packaged with crystals and it's packaged with sage and astrology and vibes and confidence. But yeah, this is my room, and these are my high energy crystals. Like they, oh no, I'm serious. I don't care if you don't believe in it. It's true. They got power. Right, what does that one do? Oh well, this crystal is all about good energy, all about good vibes. So it keeps all the negative energy away from it. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it keeps all bad vibes. Like come on. Samantha, stop leaving your cocaine on the floor. Oh my I god. Keep telling you to pick it up. I keep saying Mom, get out! No, no, it's cocaine all over the bed. Every store. time I have gas! I don't care how many boys you suck off in this room, Samantha. I'm not just gonna let you keep doing this. Crystals, get her out! Samantha, the crystals, crystals don't work. Please. Okay, no, the crystals don't work. How many times I or sometimes even Christianity. There's now some crossover. You find that sometimes women who are super Christian now live the life that uh, <laughs> you might be disgusted by if you were able to see what they did. Women who are now celibate, sometimes they used to celibate a pussy. It's also consistent with women who self-identify as free spirits. Women who self-identify as hippies or mermaids or goddesses, or they're familiar with only only one goddess of the Yoruba pantheon, Oshun. Sometimes they call themselves Oshun or they worship Oshun or they celebrate Oshun as if she's the only god in the Yoruba pantheon or she's the main god or the most relevant god. These are things to be cognizant of. And actually this entire spirituality category could fall under red flags. But for the sake of this, we'll leave it in the yellow and orange realm. Send this to your boys, have conversations about it, share stories. Father, send this to your sons, have conversations about it, share stories. And as we continue to elaborate on some of these conversations, my hope is that we can establish a strong and prosperous black community full of strong men 
who are intentional about the women that we choose and the behavior that we reward or that we stay far away from. Thank you guys for watching. Leave it in the comments. Run these likes up. Hit the subscribe button on your way out. Check out some of the other content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.